Hey everyone, welcome to AFS Hackers. My name is Afshan and in this video, we are going to launch a Drupal instance with Amazon Light Sail. Basically, Amazon Light Sail is the easiest way to get started on AWS and it offers virtual servers, storage, databases and networking plus cost effective monthly plans. So in this tutorial, we will see how to launch and configure a Drupal instance on Light Sail. Uh, and it includes the steps to connect to your instance by using SSH, uh, sign into your Drupal website, create static IP, attach it to your instance. We will also create a DNS zone and map your domain to your instance. So it is similar to our WordPress uh, tutorial like uh, I have already uploaded that video. So let's start with the tutorial like I have already logged into my AWS account and here is the light sail service you can al also search light sail launch and manage virtual private servers click on it and this is the ui of amazon light sail we can create instances containers databases networking In networking, we can create static IP, distribution, load balancer and DNS zone. We will create static IP and DNS zone in this tutorial. Storage option is also there and snapshots. The snapshot is a backup of a light sale instance. So let's click on this instance. Click on create instance. And here we have instance location. I am using Mumbai as my region like you can change your region you should pick a region that is close to you okay so i am happy with mumbai you can also change the availability zone in mumbai we have three availability zone so i am okay with zone a pick your instance image select a platform so we'll go with linux and here we have microsoft windows so in in this video like we have to install the drupal so we'll go with the linux machine and here we have to select the blueprint so we have wordpress lamp and here we have drupal click on it and we can launch or add some script here it is an optional configuration okay so we have changed ssh key pair so i have created this wordpress key let's create new key pair you are creating this SSH key pair in Mumbai, all zone, create, Drupal SSH key, generate key pair, download private key, okay, got it. So we'll use this Drupal SSH key. Automatic snapshot create a backup image of your instance and attach disk on a daily schedule. So you can enable this feature if you want automatic snapshot or automatic backup of your data. Uh, choose your instance plan. So we'll go with the $10 plan because it gave us the 2 GB RAM and one CPU. Uh, here we have identify your instance and I'm okay with the name that is Drupal 1 we can add the key value tag server name it is a drupal server like we have installed drupal on it let's create instance okay so it's in the pending state it will take maybe two to three minutes to be in a running state so let's wait so it's in a running state now let's click on this quick ssh connect icon an error occurred and we were unable to connect or stay connected to your instance if this instance has just started up uh, try again in a minute or two okay so we have just started this instance so let's let me close this and let's wait for two to three minutes again we have two to three minutes right so just click on it and uh, go to networking 
here we have the public IP and private IP and and here we have the IPv4 firewall rules like SSH, HTTP and HTTPS is allowed. IPv6 networking is also enabled and and here we have the IPv6 firewall rules. Okay, great. Let's go back to connect. So click on this connect using SSH button. Now we have connected. Let's write the ls. We have two folder bitnami application password. So let's cat it. Cat bitnami application password. Okay. Copy it and paste it here. So we also have the bitnami credential. Let's cat it this file as well okay so here is the username and password the username will be user and here we have the password okay we have already copied the password the user name will be user great okay so we have done with this so i'm closing this now click on networking copy the public ip go to user login continue to site and here is the login page user and the password is this let's login okay great now we have successfully logged into our drupal site click on this content add content article article so article name will be launch a drupal instance and we'll add this okay tag save comment field is required written by afshan okay so written by afshan and we'll save it and the status is published great now let's create the static ip because you know if we stop this instance okay if we stop this instance let me go back if we stop this instance now so what will happen uh, the public ip address will be changed okay so we don't want that so we'll create the static ip address so if we stop the instance our public ip address will not change okay so let's go to networking and create a static ip address attached to an instance okay here we have here our drupal instance static ip1 okay let's create it so this is our static ip we can also detach this static ip address so let's copy it user login continue to site we have to log in again because it is the static ip we are using copy it okay user is there so this is our home page okay the ip address is strange this is our dynamic public ip address now this is our static public ip okay so let me just close this because we'll we'll stick with this static ip address now let's go uh, click on this amazon light sale now we have to create a dns zone right 
click on networking and here we have this option called create dns zone now we are mapping our domain name to our drupal website and for that we have to create a dns zone so click on it my domain is cybersophie.com create dns zone okay cybersophie.com we have configure click on this add record and here we have to write enter at the rate to point cyber sophie to an ip address so we have to write add symbol at the rate and here is our static ip and click on this green write button and uh, so here is the domain right go to manage dns so my domain provider is godaddy okay uh, okay so we ha we have done with this like we have created the dns record but if we type cybersophie.com continue to cite like we have created the dns zone and we have created the static ip we have also added the record but it is not configured with our drupal site so what we have to do you have to add these name server okay to use light sale to manage dns records for your domain you will have to configure your domain provider to use the following name servers so we'll add these name server copy it go to your dns manage dns and here you can see the name servers by default i'm using the godaddy name servers change so we have to enter our own name server advanced because we haven't built the website right so click on it name server one name server two add name server copy it last one copy it okay save now it should work yes i consent to update name server for the selected domain continue okay it is updated okay so now it's in the pending state that we are updating your name server so you can't edit your dns settings until that's completed so let's wait okay so we have successfully configure our domain name with our drupal site like this this is the article we have created launch a drupal instance great i am using incognito mode because the changes are not updated okay that is cool let's let's click on it and we'll delete the resources now click on this three dot delete yes go to the networking and we have created dns zone so click on the three dot and delete yes delete static ip we have also created so click on the three dot and click on delete yes delete deleting resources are really important we have no instances no static ip and not a dns zone great so we have successfully launched a drupal instance and we have map our domain with our drupal instance so i hope now you are comfortable with launching a drupal instance and mapping your domain with the with your website so that's it for this video guys i hope you like it if you did then please share this video with your friends and your colleagues who are learning about aws and who are preparing for 
AWS Solution Architect certification and make sure that you guys are subscribing to my YouTube channel. We'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and keep learning. Bye bye.